All of the engines on the island of Sodor like to work hard and be called really useful engines. Especially Thomas, Percy, Splatter, and Dodge. Today, it was Independence Day, or the 4th of July, and Sir Topham Hatt had came to see the four engines. Thomas, Percy, Splatter, and Dodge, as you all know, my 4th of July or Independence Day barbecue is coming up. So I have four specials I want you to pull. Thomas, you are to take passengers with your two coaches, Annie and Clarabelle, as usual. Percy, you are to take a tanker of milk to the chocolate factory. Splatter, you are to collect fruits and vegetables from Farmer McColl's farm and take them to the market. And Dodge, you need to take a stone train to Brendam Docks. Yes, sir, said the four engines. And if any of you do your jobs well, I will assign two engines to pull our guests to the 4th of July Day barbecue. And soon enough, Sir Topham Hatt got into Winston and drove away. I wonder who will be taking the guests to the 4th of July Day barbecue, Splatter. I don't know, Percy, but I can't wait for that. Well, you two can forget it because I'm going to be pulling that train with Percy. Not if I finish first, Thomas, said Dodge. Thomas and Dodge were stuck out for the rest of the day. Dodge collected the stone trucks. Thomas took passengers with Annie and Clarabelle. Splatter collected the fruits and vegetables. And Percy collected the milk. Instead of sticking out like Thomas and Dodge, Percy and Splatter were only concerned about getting their jobs done safely and on time. Whew. There, I delivered the milk. What about you, Splatter? I took the fruits and vegetables to market, and it was quite enjoyable. I liked the fresh smell of fruits and veggies. Just then, the two heard a commotion and saw Thomas and Dodge coming. What the? Uh-oh. I get to take the passengers first. No, I do. Watch out! I couldn't have said it better myself. Ah, uh, oh. Just then, Sir Topham Hatt stepped out of his office. What is going on here? Thomas and Dodge had a fight, sir. Now look what they've caused. Yes, Percy, I can see that. Sir Topham Hatt walked over to the two derailed engines. Thomas and Dodge... You two have caused a great deal of confusion and delay. As punishment, neither of you will be taking our guests to the 4th of July barbecue. He then walked back over to Percy and Splatter. Percy, Splatter, since you two are the only two who did a good job around here, I have decided that you two will take the guests to the 4th of July barbecue. Thank you, sir, said Percy. That is very much appreciated, said Splatter. And so, Percy and Splatter got to take the, the guests to the 4th of July barbecue, and everyone had a wonderful time at Sir Topham Hatt's house.
The next day, it was July 5th, and Percy and Splatter were just waking up when they heard two noises. One was a whistle, which they knew well, and the other was a horn. It was Thomas and Dodge. Well, you two are back early, said Splatter. Yeah, what happened? Let's just say we didn't have a lot of broken parts. Yeah, the workmen examined us, and they said that we didn't have a lot of broken parts, and they were able to fix us both during the night at the steamworks. Well, that's great, said Percy. It's good to have you two back. Yes, and we also came to apologize. We're sorry for causing that fight earlier. And you know what, Dodge? I'm sorry for getting into that fight with you. Me too, said Dodge. Apology accepted, you two. Yeah, no harm done. Indeed. So how was the 4th of July party at Sir Topham Hatt's house? How was the barbecue? And how were the fireworks? Were they good? Yeah, we want to know, said Dodge. And so Percy and Splatter told Thomas and Dodge what the barbecue at Sir Topham Hatt's house was like.